A wise man once said, map reading is easy. This man was later revealed to be Devin, the same man who hit five pot rooms in his TRL void run. Now okay, that might be a little bit terrible, but his map reading got better and better, and he improved a lot. But you know what's improved even more than Devin's map reading? Decca's main menu screen. I think we can all agree that it won a gold star award for best main menu screen design. So, I don't know, great job Decca. Really, really outdid yourself there. Um, moving on. First things first. So I'm pops a key and you end up in spawn. You will have anywhere from one to four paths to choose from, and if you only have one path, then congratulations. Your path is determined for you, and you have no choice in which way to go. However, if you have four choices to choose from, then don't worry. Just peek the rooms and see which one is main path. This leads us to rule one. There will be one main branch that leads to Defender. This branch has splits that lead to pot rooms and possibly tea room. No split to a pot room or tea room will have another split to a successive pot or tea room. If someone just says to go to the area with the most space, ask them politely to exit the building from the 6th floor as it may bring the average IQ of the world up by about maybe 10 points. Map reading is not as simple as just heading in the direction with the most space, it also actively relies on envisioning where the splits go, as a lot of black space can actually be taken up by splits. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see repeated over and over by TRLs. It physically hurts me. Furthermore, the room before tea room and spawn cannot have a split to tea room off the room before said pot room or tea room. There is also only one loop allowed per main branch. There can be loops on splits to pot rooms and tea room, but this doesn't count towards the one loop on main branch. Alright, rule 2, the rule of previous splits. This generally means Defender will be in the opposite direction of the other splits off of the main branch and spawn. This in combination with guessing where the area with the most space is will lead you to Defender 9 out of 10 times. Also another small sub rule would be, don't go to splits that go to the corners of the map. So essentially think of it this way, pretend your deca and pot rooms are a decent main menu screen. So this is a decent main menu screen, this is a decent main menu screen, this is a decent main menu screen. These are reasonable uh, melee nerfs over here. And so if you dodge all of that stuff, then it's pretty easy. You know, easiest map read to Defender I've ever seen. So, if you have any questions, or would want map reading lessons, join the server in the description, and feel free to message me in Discord. I will also be putting links to Naknud's map reading program in the description along with how to use it. Big thanks to Naknud for developing that program, it's been fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching, and Chevio I mean, have a, have a great day guys.